What's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel. Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make the fried lobster, king crab, and colossal shrimp from my mom's recent video. The ingredients you need are flaming Hot Cheetos, flour, eggs, panko, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Of course you'll need the lobster, shrimp, and king crab that's already been peeled, deshelled, and deveined. Oh, and seasoned! First blend up the hot Cheetos in a food processor and if you don't have a food processor you can just use a blender and if you don't have a blender you can just smash them in a bag with a hammer. It works the same. Go ahead and pour that in a pan and set it to the side. Crack 5 eggs in a pan and mix well. Then add some hot sauce, like a tablespoon. Then mix that together. Now set that aside and in another pan pour some flour. Then add a good amount of seasoning like two to three tablespoons worth of the garlic powder, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Mix together and then set that aside as well. Then in another pan, pour the panko in. That's mama right there, all up in my shot. Well, where do you want me to put it? Don't worry, that ain't in my shot. And add one to two tablespoons worth of Cajun seasoning and black pepper and mix well. Now that you have all your ingredients prepared, it's time to get ready to cook. Man, look at my new apron. I absolutely love it. I wear it whenever I cook. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. All right, moving on. Put a pan to the side to put the already prepared seafood. When you have everything set up, put on some gloves. I like to put on gloves because it can get really messy making fried food. Thoroughly cover the seafood in flour, then shake off the excess flour. Then thoroughly cover it in the egg mixture and shake off the excess egg. Then cover it in the crushed Cheetos. Then shake off the excess Cheetos and place it on the pan. Then just keep repeating these steps with each piece of seafood.
For the lobsters, you only want to cover the meat, not the shell. After you've covered all the seafood uh, you want with the Cheeto mixture, you can just switch it to panko. Then just repeat the same steps. Cover it in flour, then cover it in egg, then cover it in panko. Once you're finished, clean up. It's always good to keep the kitchen clean. Now you're ready to fry the seafood. Turn on the fryer and cook it at 375 degrees. And it's gonna take a while so you might as well sit back and watch a movie. I was watching Ant-Man at the time. You can also start washing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen. Once the oil is hot and ready to go, you can go ahead and fry your food. You'll know it's done when the bubbles stop and it rises to the top. It should look brown and crispy and delicious. It takes a while for it to fry, so, you know, you can watch a movie in between. This time, I was watching Civil War. And after that, you're all done. Awesomely fried food that you can enjoy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, so I have some king crab and the hot Cheetos. And for all y'all trying to be funny, I know all y'all saying Kiana cut it. Yes, she did. I'm going to surprise y'all one day. Um, 
So we have some lobster, then we got the fried Cheetos, the fried and the lobster. I'm ready to get, I'm so hungry y'all and hype. Let's just get into it. So let's taste the um, king crab first. 